Hello everyone, myself is Sagar, I have around six years of working experience in IT industry. Currently, I'm working as a data engineering at JP Morgan. I've been also working as a mentor for past one year at KSR Data Vision. My key areas of expertise lies in Azure, Databricks, SQL, Python, PySpark, Snowflake. So let's start the video and dive into the world of data together, where we'll break down the complex concepts, explore more real world application that will boost your data engineering skills. Welcome everyone to the new video. So let's uh, see today's question, interview question. This is one of the most widely asked interview question for any data domain, uh, whether it may be a data analyst, a data engineer, or data scientist. It's a very simple yet a tricky question. So what is the interview question is, uh, they ask like what, what are the outputs in case of joints? Okay. So we all know joints are very important topic in SQL. So they, they have given a two tables here. So one is table one with column one, and there are around one, two, three, four, six records, where similarly we have around table two and column two, and we have around six records. Now, uh, for, for inner join, for uh, what left join and right join, and full outer join. So what's the output they're asking? So this is very simple and yet tricky question. I'll explain that. So first, before going into the uh, solution, let's understand. So what are inner joins? So suppose you have two tables and you have two columns here. So uh, each, each table has one column. So for this particular table, it's a column one and the second table, it's a column two for this table. So when we match this column one with the one table to column two of table two. If any records that matches to each other, that gives an uh, output as a total, uh, record from both the table. So what it gives, it gives matching records from both the table based on the join condition. Based on the join condition, what it does, it gives a matching record from the both the table. Whereas a left order join, what it does, same thing happen. So what it does, it gives a matching records from both the table plus non-matching records from left side of the table. So what is this left side? So suppose we have this as a table one and we have this table two. So now what it happens, so let's consider this as a table that is at a left side and this is a table that's a right side. So what it does, first it matches all the records and give all the matching records from this both the table, again, based on the joint condition. And whatever the records which are not matching from the left side of the table, that is left side of the joint table, it gives that non-matching records. So in the same way, the right join is again same as a left order join. Only condition it will change is left side of the table. So it first what it gives is gives a matching record from the both the table and non-matching records from right side of the table. So now we got these things. So it's a simple thing where again, what it does, take the table one, table two, gets all the matching records. Now this is the right side of the table. So what are the non-matching records are there from this side of the table? It gives it that. Now where has the full outer join? It's all together with left and right join. What it does, it gives a matching records from both sides of the table plus non-matching records from the left side of the table, plus non-matching records from right side of the table. Uh, I know, uh, let's uh, explore this in the Excel sheet and see how it works. So we have an Excel sheet. Now, what's the question is, what is the output in inner, left, right, and full outer join? So first, let's go with the inner join. So it's simple, like inner join, let's take column one. Since we are uh, combining two table or joining two table, we get two tables as one table, that's a join table. So now what it happens? Now, before going into this uh, output, let me say that, what is SQL? Uh, SQL is case insensitive. So what do you mean by case insensitive? That means if we have something called as a EMP, has a table and EMP has a table. Now we take consider whether it's a, a lower case or upper case it consider both has a one kind of a uh, letter. So what it means that uh, it doesn't consider EMP has different, whereas capital EMP has different. So you, if you consider that as a case, it will change altogether in this. So what happens is if we consider SQL 
if most of the sequels are case insensitive so if it's a case insensitive what it happens is a and a both are same if you consider a it's a equal to a it is if in case it was a case sensitive a small caps of a is not equal to capital a so if that's a case of case sensitive but now sequel is case insensitive we have to consider these both as a matching case now as i said in inner join what is there it gives matching records from both the table okay so what it does now now we have a now now usually uh, the people gets confused how to match the record so what we do a we consider first record a and see for whether it matches with b no now consider a uh, now check with the next record it matches with this a yes now what we do just say small a and in the second table what it is doing it's matching with a capital a so we do as a capital a next continue so again a matches with the no it doesn't matches so we won't add it now a matches with null now again the misconception here what is null so uh, null is nothing we don't know what is null whenever we can't define anything we just put as a null it's a void kind of a void so you can't compare anything with null so we can't compare a to null and we can't compare null to null as well as because null we don't know anything so we should never compare null to null so again it doesn't matches with a null we won't add it now next null it doesn't matches where again a matches with c no so we don't add it now coming to next so the first record is over now what we do we go with the next record now we what we have capital a so capital a matches with p no so we leave it capital a matches with capital a yes so in first table it was capital a in the second table is again it's a capital a a matches with d no a matches with null no a matches with null no it's again not matches with c so we leave this record now now next now what we do b now let's consider b b matches with b yes since it is a case insensitive it matches so we consider b in this column a it's a capital b is matching whereas in column 2 is small b now next b matches with a no b matches with d no b matches with null no 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 so b is over now let's consider with c now c matches with b no c matches with a no c matches with d no c matches with null no c matches with no again and c matches with c so it's a small c and okay it's a small c and in this case it's a capital c now null inner join uh, since there is no matching null we can't match with anything we never consider uh, nulls in the inner join so we just leave it as a null and next go to the next record now c let's again see here these all things it doesn't matches only it matches with a c so it's a capital c here and again it's a capital c here so this is the output of the inner join so it's a simple matching techniques which we did and we came up with this output from the input we have this output now let's see the same in our sql how whether this output is correct or not okay so i have a two table here so uh, table 1 uh, which says these are the records they are the same records we took in our uh, excel sheet and again table 2 or these are the same records now uh, let's write a sql query to just join these two tables so what's the sql query to joining the two tables simple first is select whatever we need to select that we need to make alias of a from table 1 what we need column 1 comma from table 2 what we need that is column 2 then from where we need that we need from the table 1 table 1 that we are aliasing as table 1 what we are doing we are doing inner join we're doing it as a inner join for which table we are doing this table two we are doing so it will be table two and for table two they are seeing it as t2 on condition now what is a join we have to match right so table on condition of t1 dot column one equal to t2 dot column so let's see what is the output here. So you can see here. 
so now what we did uh, we joined the tables and you can see the output so let's copy this and see whether it matches with our excel in the excel sheet v which we have matched or not so i'm copying this and let's go with the excel and i'll paste this you can see here a a a capital capital a capital a b b c and c so it's a simple inner join let's go with the next join that is left outer join so what is left outer join now so again matching records from both plus non-matching from left right plus plus non-matching from left side so now consider this plus non-matching from left side okay consider this as a left side of the table and this as a right side of the table so now what we are doing first again what we have, we have matching records so we get all the same as it is now let's see as i said null we can't match with anything so we consider null has null as it is so we have to consider null since it's a non-matching record we are not matching we keep as it is and since this is null we have to uh, give some value here right we, we don't know what we, what is null uh, matching with so we again will go it as a null now uh, why i took directly is since matching record we required right so you are considering left side here so again it matches with a to a this a to a this b to b this c to c and this c to c and what is the remaining non matching or remaining record which we did not use for matching that is only this thing so one null we, that was left on the left side of the turn the left side of the table so we took that null for this null we need to uh, uh, right side we need to indicate something right so it considered as a null so now let's see in the sql how it happens so uh, the the query is same again the only thing we need to do is change it as a left so now let's see the output what it will be so now you can see here okay a matches with a again a with a b with b c with c and capital c with c and one null was there that it came as a as it is so you can see here the output okay so don't, uh, don't worry about the sequence order i uh, to simplify to explain that so i had taken in this but the uh, order will be the same so since we are matching one by one no null there will be no null so it came here and then last again we had taken matching so it came like this so this is a simple left outer join now next now next let's see uh what the what will be the right outer join so again uh for right uh, it is again same right so right join what it does so again it does same what it does it takes the matching record from uh, both and then it goes with a ma uh, non-matching from the right side so non-matching from the right side of the table now which is the right side this is the right side of the table so we, which is the left side this is left side. now what will happen so all the matching records what i said it will be there first and now consider on the left right side which which were not considered for matching okay now uh, let's do one thing column one and we'll go with the column two so let's go how i did we'll understand that now we are matching with a right with a right right with the first record will take b matches with the b so it is b this side and capital b this side okay now a a matches with the so it's a capital a here where it is a small a in the left side of the table now again there is one more match right a matches with a so a here which is matching with a capital a now a d now see if it is not matching records from right also we need so d does not have any matching records on the left side of the table so we take the non-matching record as it is For this there is no matching so it considered as null now again what i said null is we can't match with anything we you should take if there is null we have to just take it as a null so null plus null okay now for this null we don't have anything in the left side of the table we just go it has a null it's not a matching again i'm saying it's not matching null to null we don't know and we don't know what to define this we just so for this side it is just keeping as a null now last record is c so again it comes it doesn't match with a 
C, this C doesn't match with A, this C doesn't match with C, sorry, B, this C matches with a small C. So what it does, C will match us with a small C. Now, again, we'll see null, we won't match, this C matches with this C. Until we have to check the same record with each record on the uh, left side of the table, so that if there are multiple matches, we have to get that match. So now this will be the output of the right outer joint. So let's see in the SQL query again. So what, what we have? We have right here. We just change it to right. So when we execute this, so we can see here, this is the output. So when you, when you compare it in an Excel, so you can see here, okay? So B matches with B, A matches again here, and D doesn't match with anything, null is there. We have to take null, null, and CC. So now, you, I hope you understand how to get the right outer join. Let's now check again with the last join, that is full outer join, okay? So uh, what is a full outer join? Now full outer join is, again as I said, matching records from both the table, plus non-matching record from left side of the table, plus non-matching records from the right side of the table. Let's consider first matching like this only, A matches uh, left side and let's say take the full matching cases from both sides of the table, which will be same in column one, column two. These are the matching records. It comes as, as it is. Now, if it comes as it is, it came like that. Now, now again, consider on the left side of the table, which is not matching, we are, we are not considered, that was null. So we have to keep null as it is here. And for this, again, null doesn't match with null, so we just put as a null. Now coming with the right side of the table, D was not matching with any anything, right? So the uh, we, we have a matching record from B, so we match that. We have A, we match that. Then we have, we have C that also match. Now D doesn't match anything with this. So we consider D and again doesn't match with null. Now again, as I said, there are two nulls. So whatever the number of nulls are there on the that side, we have to just put it as null, null. And here for this also it will show as null. It's again not matching null with null. It just says we don't know what is this side of the column, what would be the value. So let's see what uh, how it will show in the SQL. It says full outer, okay? We say full outer, and you can see here. Even though even though the uh, the sequence or order is different because I was explaining you the concept, that's how it does. So A matches with A that came as a first record. A matches with small. A capital A that came as a record. Now B matches with B that came. Now C matches with C that came. Null. Null. We don't have null. So that null is there. And this capital C matches with C that came. And it came with a right side now. Now this is match done. This match is done. This match is done. So it took D. There is no matching in this side of the table. So D null. Now null and null, again, no matches. So it took no two more null. So you can see these both outputs are the same, even though for explaining you purpose, I taken matching records altogether at the start. So it was very easy for you to understand what are the number of outputs you're going to get. So I hope you understood this in this video, how, what, how we have to find the outputs for matching uh, while matching for inner left and right uh, full outer joints. In the next video, we say, see the same scenario for PySpark, where PySpark is a case sensitive case. Since it's a case sensitive, we won't be getting A matching with A, right? At that time, that is small A doesn't match with capital A. We will see in the next video how that case will work for this video. Uh, this, that's it. I hope you understood this video. Thank you.